John encountered the inspiration for his hardline hotelier when the Monty Python team checked into a talky hotel during filming in May 1971. We were, we were in Torquay because we were filming all the outdoor, all the exterior parts of Monty Python and staying in this hotel. And the first evening, we decided we'd eat in. We were all having dinner. And the owner, Mr. Donald Sinclair, was wandering around, very grand, not doing anything to help, of course, but being very grand. And he walked past the Python table where we were all eating, and Terry Gilliam had done what the Americans do, which is to cut the meat like that, and then they put the knife down, transfer the fork to this hand, and spear the meat with the right yeah. hand. And he stopped, and I remember he just stared. And then he said to Gilliam, we don't eat like that in this country. And we were pretty astounded, because it was completely out of the blue. We were filming the next day, and uh, I said, can you give us a call? Can we have a, a, a call in the morning? And he looked a bit, yeah, yes. What time? And I said, well, about, um, about quarter to seven. Quarter to seven? I mean, it's just like Basil. Quarter to seven? You want me to ring you a quarter to seven? You want breakfast as well? It was exactly the same reaction. I thought, this is really odd. He's running a hotel. I don't think he actually liked guests. I, th I think he suffered them. And I don't think he liked working in the hotel either. I saw him close the bar at just after nine o'clock one night. He said he was off to bed and it was time everybody else went to bed too. One day, Eric and I were waiting for the car to take us filming. And Eric left his briefcase uh, by the door where he propped it up while we were just playing catch with a tennis ball. And when he got back, he went up to the desk and Sinclair saw him coming. Excuse me, what? What is it now? He said, I'd left the, uh, my briefcase. He said, yes, yes, he said, it's the other side of the wall. And he pointed out of the, out of the front door uh, to a white wall, which was the far side of a swimming pool. And he said, it's behind the wall. <laughs> he said, what? He said, what? He said, it's behind the wall. He said, yes, yes, I put it behind the wall. And he said, well, why did, you, why did you put it, what? Why did you put it behind the, behind the wall? He said, we thought it might be a bomb. And we <laughs> A bomb? And Sinclair said, well, we've had a lot of staff problems recently. So you really thought somebody would fire, come back and put a bomb in a briefcase? <laughs> I said to Mike, I thought, I can't stay here. I really can't stand it. I didn't see the comic possibility as that John had said. John had sort of worked out with Connie the logic of a Sinclair stroke Basil Fawlty position, which is basically that it is the people you're making your money from who are causing you trouble and problems. And if they weren't there, life would be much easier. But there is a flaw there. 